This episode is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including fascinating shows like Stalking Hitler's Generals. When Allied commandos launched daring wartime missions to kill or capture German generals, and secret societies, organizations that play a far larger role in our everyday lives than most of us realize, from the Illuminati to Freemasons and Skull and Bones. Go to curiositystream.com forward slash Mark Felton for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and non-fiction series. And for our fans, use the promo code Mark Felton and you will save 25% off, which comes to only fourteen ninety nine a year. That's just $1.25 per month. For the very best in history programming, choose Curiosity Stream. At Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's private home, Sandringham House in Norfolk, an amazing collection of retired royal cars have been preserved. Sandringham lies in the northwest of the county of Norfolk in the east of England and was originally purchased by Queen Victoria for her son, the future King Edward VII. Rebuilt and extended over the years, the house was, along with Balmoral Castle in Scotland, one of the two privately owned properties, its ownership now passing to King Charles III. A sporting estate famous for its shooting and its royal horse stud, where many famous racehorses have been raised, the Queen would usually spend from December through Christmas and into February at the house each year, and it was where her beloved father, King George VI, died unexpectedly in 1952. The royals had an early interest in cars, and the oldest vehicle in the collection is this 1900 Daimler male Phaeton. The Prince of Wales, later King Edward VII, was persuaded to purchase a motor car by his cycling tutor, and it marked the beginning of a long relationship between the Daimler car company and the royal family. The male Phaeton has a six-horsepower engine, and the Prince took delivery of it in June 1900. It was later sold out of royal service, but tracked down and restored in the 1970s to mark the Queen's Silver Jubilee in 1977. King Edward's son, who became King George V, purchased this Daimler in 1914, a 45-horsepower Braum. With a spacious interior and large windows, it was ideal for royals to be seen in by members of the public. The chauffeur, however, had to sit in an open compartment in all weather conditions. In 1929, King George V purchased this Daimler 6630 Braum as his personal car for use at Buckingham Palace in London. The interior is polished dark mahogany with silver and white ivory fittings. The paintwork is in royal colours, and the body incorporates a royal identification lamp fitted to the canopy. After considerable use, the car was returned to Daimler in pretty poor condition. Restored, it was presented to the Queen by Daimler in 1968. After the death of King George V in 1936 and the abdication crisis with his son Edward VIII, George's second son became king as George VI. However, his mother, Queen Mary, was still alive. In 1947, Queen Mary purchased this Daimler 4-litre saloon as her last car. She specified that it not be painted in royal livery, but instead in her favourite colour of green. She didn't want royal colours on it, as it attracted too much attention when she was out visiting shops or galleries in London. Queen Mary called this car the Shopping Daimler. The height of the car was raised, so the 80-year-old Queen didn't have to bend too far when climbing aboard. Queen Mary loved this car and used it almost every day until her death on the 24th of March 1953. King George VI purchased a pair of Daimler Straight 8 limousines in 1949 for use as state cars. They have electric windows, sunroof and canopy. A radio was built into the armrest and reading lights fitted. This was one of the last Daimlers used as a state car. After King George VI's death in 1952, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother kept the other Daimler Straight 8 as her official car. One of Queen Elizabeth II's state cars is preserved at Sandringham, 
a Rolls-Royce Phantom V, dating from 1961. The Queen used this car continually between 1961 and 2002. The car bears the Royal Arms and has a small flagpole that can be raised to display the Royal Standard, the monarch's personal flag. The car is unique with its raised roof to allow ease of boarding and disembarking from the vehicle, and the large windows enable the Queen and Prince Philip to be clearly seen by the public. When in royal use, the Rolls-Royce Spirit of Ecstasy statuette would be replaced with the Queen's personal silver mascot of St George and the Dragon on the top of the radiator. This car even went to Russia in 1994 aboard the royal yacht Britannia on the occasion of the Queen's state visit. At 3 tonnes and 19 feet 10 inches in length, it has a 6.2 litre engine. This 1961 Alvis TD21 drophead coupe was specially built for the Queen's husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. It has a quiet and smooth 2,993cc six-cylinder engine and was three inches taller than the standard model, also having an electrically folding hood and leather fascias instead of walnut. One of the Queen's private cars was this 1963 Rover 3-litre saloon. She often drove this car herself. This is a production line Rover saloon unmodified for royal use. A car with a controversial history is this 1969 Austin Princess Vandenpla limousine that entered royal service in 1972. A 3.9 litre limousine, one of two retained by the palace for use by junior members of the royal family. It sports the royal colours of royal claret and black. In March 1974, this car was bringing Princess Anne, the Queen's daughter, back to Buckingham Palace following a film premiere, when a white Ford Escort forced it to stop on the Mall leading down to the palace. A disturbed man, armed with a pistol, tried to kidnap the Princess, and during the fracas that followed, the royal chauffeur and the Princess's police bodyguard were both shot and injured. However, the kidnapping attempt failed. Probably the strangest vehicle in the collection is this golf buggy that was used by the very elderly Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. Known as the Queen Mother's Racing Buggy, it was used at various horse racing meetings that the Queen Mother attended, and painted in her racing colours of buff and pale blue. Later, after turning a hundred in 2000, the Queen Mother used it around the Sandringham Estate, including for getting to and from the church for services. The Queen Mother died in 2002 at the age of 101. And finally we have this London Taxi, a 1999 Metro Cab. This was owned by Prince Philip and it was converted to run on liquefied petroleum gas instead of petrol. Prince Philip drove himself around London in this car as it blended in with all the other black cabs working the streets, giving him a degree of anonymity. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.